What is up robots, androids, and other mechanical beings, Reska here, and I am here to unbox the Figure Rise Standard Common Rider Build Rabbit Tank Form. This thing is going to be pretty fun. Uh, I do like the Figure Rise Standards. I've done Goku in the past before I started doing this channel. And you can see here, we've got the some of the action poses and stuff. I know this one, I was gonna have some decals, but I may end up having to use them. Uh, I don't have, I know there's some color app ones in here and stuff from what I remember, what I've read. See how it can work with some of the effect stand parts. I don't think it comes with a stand itself, but yeah, let's go ahead and unbox and see what the runners look like. All right, so I'm getting here the box itself so yeah like I was saying a huge set of decals some will be useful we'll, we'll look at these closer obviously yeah. and I like the gloss on there it looks like they've got a good kind of glossy tone to the red and blue oh it does have a stand I was mistaken it just doesn't have the effect parts well, that's gonna be great for posing and using Plus we have the manual itself, which we'll go through in a little bit. And first we have here is the A-Runner. This will be mostly the dark armor parts, plus the clear blue and the clear red for the helmet, as well as a some gray here for the, uh, let's see if it'll focus in on here, gray for the weapon. That's some good detail on it, but I can tell already you could probably make that a lot better and these are molded so if you really wanted to go in there with the decals with the instead of the decals and kind of paint that and really detail it out you really could I just don't know if I have the time to do that with the other projects that I want to do yeah let's look, look at the rest and here we have the B runner for the blue parts that's I'm sure that's why they did it right no. <laughs> Um, I don't know if you can tell, but they have a really nice glossy coat on them. Another reason a repaint would take a lot more effort. You really want to try and recreate that gloss coat. Very doable, but again, not something I'm one to try and do right now. Very cool. And our third runner, the C runner here, is the red equivalent. So the other hand, other parts of the shoulder and stuff. That same kind of glossy red really looks nice in person. And then, just after three runners, we have our set of polycaps. Decent amount, but there's a lot of posability in these figure eyes kits. So yeah, really interesting pieces here. And our last runner here is the actual stand. This is very similar to the one that I saw in my Goku. So, these are nice stands for the figure eyes kits anyway has a link up to where if you want to have multiple stands. I don't know if they're making any more of the build in Figure Rise. They are, I might have to. I really do like that writer show. Yeah? Cool. And last but not least, we got the two sets of decals here. Have a bigger shit with sheet. Ooh. <laughs> My real thoughts come out. Uh, but yeah, so... There's a lot of the yellow here, which there are no yellow runners. Um, and some color wrap for the red, I'm sure, and red and blue. I've put some of that detail work in. Yeah, if I really had the effort, might look into doing some painting on this. I really don't like this, but yeah, just... Mm. And I guess some more look like for the uh, belt. Let's take a look at the manual. Alright, here we have the Figure Eyes Standard Common Rider Rabbit Tank Form Manual. It's another one of those smaller multi-fold out manuals. But here we got a nice color page of the final parts coming together. Ooh, it just holds out a lot. So yeah, we got all the runners. I believe everything's pretty much being used. And this is one of the newer Bandai kits, so we have the English text, 
supplementing a lot of this, which is nice. Kind of showing how to cut things for newer people. You know, it looks like we start with the head. Yeah, it's got the stickers right there. Oh, they go underneath the probably... I see what those are for. Okay. Well, that's first sticker sheet A. Got the torso. Ooh. Man. Yeah. Pictures of it done up. Obviously painted. Good color guide. It might be really tempting to try and paint this kit fully up. Whew. The yellow is going to be more for the weapon part. And a little bit of detail around the belt. But paint it up. Looks pretty good. Very tempting. Might have to try and attempt that anyway. We'll see. We'll see. I'd have to buy a whole lot more paint because I wanted to look. I don't have the paints to do this one. We'll see when it gets closer to the time to actually put this one together. But anyway, thank you all for hanging out again and checking out another unboxing. Uh, this one will get added to the log of stuff that I gotta do. But anyway, guys, see you soon. Thanks. Thanks.